Alright, hello everyone, Sam here, and today we're going to be doing a Daisy standalone starter guide. Uh, this isn't for new players to the game, uh, or it could be, but it's uh, mainly towards fresh spawns that just spawned in in the game and want to get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do when you spawn in is find the nearest town. Currently, at least in experimental, uh, all spawns are by uh, relatively close to a town. After you've found this town, if you don't know what it is, you want to look uh, to where the end of the town is and find the nearest sign. This will tell you uh, the name of the town. Next, you're going to want to pull up a map. Uh, this can easily be found by searching Daisy Standalone map in uh, Google Images uh, and clicking uh, anyone works really and uh, find where you which town you're in uh, this is very important you're also going to want to familiarize yourself with this map uh, so you won't have to do this later alright so you're in the nearest town Th the first thing you're gonna want to do is find these key items you're gonna want to find food water or drinks soda a can opener or a type of can opener such as a bayonet a screwdriver uh, a fire axe works uh, regular axe uh, you're gonna want to find a backpack or a child's briefcase works or really any kind of storage uh, other than your fresh fresh uh, spawn things uh, so like a better jacket would work or better pants would work cargo pants uh, all TT SKO uh, stuff works great uh, you're gonna want to find a gun um, usually in most towns you'll be able to find things like shotguns um, Mosins if you um, you might find like an SKS stuff like that um, and pistols obviously um, and then uh, you're gonna the last thing you're gonna want to find is a motorcycle helmet or other helmet um, yeah you're gonna want to make sure if you find a ballistic helmet that it's worn or pristine and uh, make sure your motorcycle helmets aren't badly damaged or ruined now where to find these things um, so there's a few key buildings that you want to look at when trying to find uh, these key things um, these buildings are warehouses are great sheds believe it or not in experimental are really good red buildings the two-story ones there's sometimes good stuff food usually clothing in uh, in the top floor green buildings green two-story buildings more specifically piano houses um, they're the tan buildings with a green door and brick buildings the short one-story ones uh, are really good all of these have the starter stuff most of them have food water types of can openers some of them have backpacks um, motorcycle helmets a few of them have guns or have a chance of having guns in them and you wanna work your way up to things like fire stations police stations, medical buildings, and hospitals, and schools. Uh, you don't want to go to those first um, because most people there in big towns will have guns and you don't this is uh, for survival. Um, after this, after you have a gun and ammunition, you could go to the airfields which are located here on the maps if you didn't already know. If you do end up running into players, here's what you're going to want to do. You have to defend yourself. If they have guns, uh, and if there's multiple of them, you're going to want to shoot. Uh, if they do not have guns, if it's a fresh spawn, you're going to want to keep your distance. If it's one guy, uh, and you think you're going to be able to wait and stay away from that guy, uh, you could, you're going to want to get out of there. As little human contact as possible until you you're able to defend yourself with things like guns if you do get caught 
with people. What you're gonna wanna do as a fresh spawn is knock them out first, unless you have a gun. Hitting them with a fire axe will not help. If they have a motorcycle helmet on, uh, use a blunt object, such as a baseball bat, uh, things like crowbars and wrenches will still knock them out right through that uh, motorcycle helmet and you'll be all good. Okay, um, some other tips. Um, if you want to survive in the beginning, do not go near players unless you want to band it off of them and you know where they are. Um, but usually you're not going to want to go near players. Anyone can kill you really. Fresh spawns can knock you out really easily currently. Mm, people with guns will really easily kill you. Uh, even like a wrench can one shot someone with a damaged motorcycle helmet right now. So you want to stay away from people. You also want to stay away from big cities such as Berenzino and Electro are the two main ones you want to stay away from because a lot of spawns are there are by uh, Berenzino and many people like to go to Electro. Both good places for loot but you're not going to find any because there's people there who have already checked it before you and because you'll die trying to get there. Definitely do not go to the airfields as a fresh spawn. They're, they're an excellent place for later loot, um, but they are also packed with people as there are only a few airfields. Also, avoid bright colors. Uh, if you can, spray paint things like helmets, axes, and guns, um, uh, black, brown, gray, uh, green are all great colors to be wearing in this game. I don't know how many times I've spotted a guy just by seeing his red motorcycle helmet from two miles away. It's ridiculous. So you're going to want to have uh, those camouflage colors. And you're going to want to stay away from yellows, bright blues, reds, uh, really light green sometimes not good, uh, purple backpacks, orange backpacks. Uh, you're gonna want to stay away from all of these things anything that stands out pretty much uh, th This is very important Okay, uh, so here you might have seen me playing in the background a bit uh, in just 15 minutes I have collected all of this stuff uh, by using this method. Uh, I did get sort of lucky There was a server uh, restart and I got a really nice spawn uh, but you you could see uh, as long as you know what you're doing, it's really easy to get stuff in Daisy Standalone. Alright guys, so I think that's going to be it on my little guide for uh, starting out in Daisy Standalone. Uh, write any other tips you may have in the comments. You could really help some people out. Uh, uh, new people, read the comments below. Um, there will be people helping you out. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, and see ya.